Yeah, yeah, thanks for inviting us. Uh, we are Kalupa, Gregor, Hamid, and I am uh, Nemo. And um, we made this uh, little uh, color reaction game called Omicron, uh, which uh, some of you may know because we were showing it after the last uh, talk and play event. And today uh, we will talk about uh, why we decided to relaunch the game and uh, pulled the first version from the App Store and came up with a complete uh, redesign. And I was going to tell you more about uh, the history of the game and the prototype. Okay, yeah, back in 2010, I was playing around with the um, tweener class. Uh, I was making um, some flash games with this. And then with um, uh, we, we met and we uh, made some games. <coughs> Um, but um, I, I thought about this when I made this in Flash um, with uh, touch uh, controls in mind. So, um, yeah, this is a kind of a whack a mole like color matching game, as you can see. Turn this down a bit. And then uh, the task was to port this to iOS. and. Every one of you who is not a, a computer scientist and um, ever tried to program an objective C knows that this is a fucking pain in the ass. And, um, but we managed to uh, actually half a year later we launched this. It was a very simple game, but um, it, uh, I was very proud of it. It was my first <laughs> native objective C game. Um, and then we thought, well, okay, we don't have a big company, and but we need some marketing. And then um, you now you have the opportunity to uh, see something that uh, we thought nobody will ever see again. Oh <laughs> Today on the studio, please welcome Dr. Hopman from Kanuka Labs with his new product, Omicron. Do you want to enlarge your brain? Prepare to receive a special brain enhancement tool to make your brain bigger by two inches in diameter. It really works. Are you tired of being a nerd with a small brain? Do you want to impress your friends with new superior intellectual powers? You're just one step away from being the most sophisticated nerd of the world. It took decades for the scientists of Canoopa Lab to finally come up with a solution that works completely without chemicals or obscure plant-based compounds that cost a lot but are completely ineffective. Please read the hand information leaflet and ask the doctor for promises about recent side effects. Oh yeah, and as you can see, uh, we were heavily inspired by spam mails. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know why we have taken it off uh, YouTube. <laughs> and uh, when we uh, first launched it uh, for iOS, something good happened. Uh, we had an Apple feature, or new and noteworthy, and what we play and so on. So we actually made uh, some money back then. And uh, we're happily continuing to make uh, more games like these uh, shoot them ups in 2011 and 2012. And as time went by, we uh, forgot about Omicron a little bit. We, we uh, didn't really continue our marketing and didn't come up with <laughs> updates um, for gameplay. And <coughs> we didn't have time and were busy with other things. And after each iOS update, uh, more bugs <coughs> kept popping up and also a lot of bad reviews, and uh, iOS 6 uh, seemed to be the final boss. Yeah, um, so uh, reviews came in, ah, it doesn't even start anymore, and uh, I don't know, uh, 
one star ratings game. And so we pulled it off the App Store and um, had three options. Move on, forget about it, maybe other games, yeah, don't for forget about it. Or, uh, yeah, I actually opened the, the old project files in the uh, new uh, Xcode and uh, kilometers of uh, error messages and I was like, oh man, I have to repair this. And um, in the meantime, we switched to another SDK to make us life a bit easier. We switched to Corona SDK where you can program the Lua and everyone knows Lua and uh, ActionScript or uh, JavaScript knows, yeah, that's very simple and you can be very fast. And I said, well, uh, I sit a week on this and have a new prototype made in Lua. So we decided to start from scratch. And we uh, didn't just want to make the same game again, so um, we wanted to make some gameplay enhancements and add new game modes and our ups, combos and achievements. And Probably most important of all, we decided to make a redesign, and at that time I uh, got to know Hannes and saw his uh, website and what he was doing, and uh, we instantly uh, thought he's uh, the right guy to save our little game. <laughs> yes. Uh, so Nemo was asking me to do the redesign, and I had no experience with game design. I just come from a very classical design world, like doing books and branding stuff, posters, flyers, billboards. But yeah, a lot of stuff and I like to explore new new fields in design and I, yeah, in game design it's pretty cool because everything comes together with interface design and animation and so yeah, that's <coughs> a lot of fun and yeah. So, <coughs> This is the first layout. I the first step is always for me to simplify and yeah this one. This so it was the first and now and then I was thinking in other directions and trying out things, okay, should we have buttons or switches or I don't know, flowers or characters or do the forms change or something like this. So I made a lot of different layouts. <clears throat> and also very abstract things, procedures, things, and um, then I came to this hexagon, and <coughs> yeah, and this multi-layered layout. So I showed them to Nemo and Gregor, and we discussed the layouts, and we recognized that this uh, hexagon is the perfect shape for our needs, and so I have again, simplify, <laughs> and then we made the, yeah, the game field and the grid and find the playing field and yeah, finding the look, trying out a lot of things, how to look the cubes or is it flat or is it with anything else, so, and how I look the blocked uh, tiles and yeah, we was testing a lot and trying out several things and also we, uh, Gregor did a lot of prototypes and we invited friends and kids and parents-in-law and everybody to... Yeah, you know that, testing, tweaking, testing, yeah. tweaking, testing, <laughs> tweaking. How many colors, how many, how quick the color changes and all this stuff. So we get in somewhere around here and now we have to find the, uh, the look for the power-ups and the icons and the menu design. So these are the final icons. And here's the, it's just a screenshot from Illustrator with the um, menu, how it's built up. And yeah, so we landed here. Uh, this is the logo and also the starting screen. It's a procedural graphic. So Every time, every time you open Omicron, it's, the colors are different and changing and also forms a little bit. And I also made a font out of this, out of this hexagon base. And yeah, this is, uh, 
I come to it later. So uh, here are some screenshots. This is the uh, main menu, the play menu. This is the uh, App Store screenshots, and this is yeah, just yeah, also the versus I have a versus mode and uh, get a, this little medal if you win. And yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we had this pretty old game principle. It's like a rig and mortar. You have to touch the colors as uh, quick as you can. And this new look. And so we were thinking about what kind of ad or photo could stand, could stand for this. And we decided to do a retro, retro futuristic, old school computer game. 80s happy family ad we found a lot of funny pictures back from 70s and 80s and yeah so we did a little photo shooting uh, this is our modern family <laughs> this was big fun and these are the end results the, the as you see it's, it makes very happy to play our game so you know, <laughs> well, this was a reality. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we used these pictures for the website and flyers and Facebook and all the stuff we could uh, use it for. And then uh, I did a little teaser, a new, a new teaser. This one. I regret a little bit that we didn't give it a new game and uh, use a new slot, but uh, just relaunch it because it uh, shares the concept with the old uh, version. But it's actually a totally new game with new game modes and so on. So I think right now I would have given it another name and not just use the old slot so that there would also be a chance to get featured again by Apple maybe. And uh, we have some. Uh, Good experience with gone free features uh, like these ad gratis uh, kind of things and so on um, that allowed us to uh, create a user base of 300,000 or something. We didn't uh, make any money with these, <laughs> but um, it's very nice to know that there are thousands of people playing this game. And uh, we, we had a lot of good uh, feedback for the local multiplayer version. What else? Uh, how did, did you call it? Human, human machine? Human machine. <laughs> yeah. For the human, human machine version, and this also leads us to uh, try and make another, uh, yeah. another human, human machine game uh, with Hannes. And um, but for Omicron, we will add a colorblind mode with the next update, and we uh, just released the game for uh, Android about a week ago, and will. And make new experience there and we will come up with several new projects and submit them also to the amaze festival <laughs> and uh, hope you uh, like what we come up with and um, yeah if you want to connect here's our data and check out out the side of Hannes to see more of his uh, great designs and that's it thank you <laughs> Is it a paid yeah. app and if you have to do it to go for a free to play model? Because I think your game is rather like it would work in the market. Yeah. Yeah, it's 
for one dollar. Mm -hmm. So we we talked a lot about it, and especially for um, the Android version. Yeah. But but it's actually selling on Android. I don't know. It's, it's okay. We're not rich. But <laughs> yeah, we are very bad with monetization, but um, if you want to help us, join us and uh, make us rich. <laughs> but it's uh, for one available for one dollar. Yeah, um, but it never comes. Yeah, too late, too late. <laughs> Army come true, maybe. Yeah, maybe. No? Yeah, seven colors. Huh? Seven colors. Color <laughs> new colors. <set. laughs> one dollar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's something we're a bit late, but yeah, yeah, we okay. stick around, so yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. Thank you so much. Thank you.